If you couldn't tell by my constant use of music and sound effects from it, I love the Ace Attorney series. I think what really sells the idea of these games is that being right is inherently fun. The concept is simple. You're a defense attorney, most often Phoenix Wright, with the goal of proving murder suspects innocent, and do so through the examination of crime scenes, evidence, and most importantly, witness testimonies. That's when you have to find the contradictions between the statements and evidence to discover the truth, which most often is that the witness is a lying piece of shit. But the gameplay isn't all the Ace Attorney series is going for it. For one thing, the writing is stellar, it's witty and has made me laugh out loud on several occasions. It also has an appealing art style, especially in the earlier entries, and the music is just wonderful. But it begs the question, what if it was real? Huh. Yakuten Saibon, or Turnabout Trial, is a 2012 live-action movie based off the first Ace Attorney game. It stars Hiroki Narimiya as Phoenix Wright and was directed by Takashi Miike, responsible for many a Japanese horror film. Because as we all know, Ace Attorney is famous for its horror elements. It's only available in Japanese, but at least at some point there were plans to give it a proper English dub. Sadly, that never ended up happening, but it is available on streaming platforms with subs now. It also got DVD releases in Australia and Germany. Yeah, I'm not going to go into any super specific details of the plot, but I will put a warning on screen whenever I go into any spoiler territory. I'm also just going to be referring to the movie as Ace Attorney from here on out. Saying the Ace Attorney movie every single time is going to start getting annoying at some point. Ace Attorney adapts the second and fourth chapters from the first game, though with much more emphasis put on the fourth, with small nods to the first and third chapters as well. One of these nods comes into play right at the start of the movie with an adaptation of the first turnabout. Let's start with a positive. The casting and costume design in the movie are excellent. Now obviously none of the actors look exactly like their in-game counterparts or anything, but as far as live action representation of animated characters goes, this is pretty good. And the costume design complements this to bring it to the next level. Except Red White, for some reason they made him emo. Whoa! I am exhausted after all that positivity. I need to go into a negative stat. And that negative is apparent pretty much as soon as the movie starts. You have to be an Ace Attorney fan to enjoy this movie. It starts smack dab in the middle of what's supposed to be the first case of the game, which isn't really going to do it for people who haven't played the game or at least know the story. This scene really could have used some more establishment. It's not even said that this is Phoenix's first case. I think that's a pretty important detail. Would explain his uncommon demeanor and why all these papers fall off this desk. Back to the positives. The cinematography of this movie is also great, being done by Masakazu Oka. The movie is meant to take place in an alternate, more futuristic version of Japan. Don't let the movie description fool you, it doesn't take place in 20XX, it takes place in 2012, they are lying to you. These massive holographic displays show evidence to the gallery and can also be picked up and thrown by the defense and prosecution to literally throw evidence at them. The futuristic setting extends to the set design as well, as we see the courtroom lobby with all these cool screens and stuff, I like that. And there's a massive set of laser things above the courtroom to project the displays I mentioned before. And in some flashback scenes, we see tech that's still futuristic, but older, and I like that a lot as opposed to it just being, you know, normal and boring tech. They go pretty far with this idea that the laws become dystopian, as we see in flashback scenes I just mentioned that the gallery consists of people only in suits and ties, but it's decayed now to the point that tickets to trials are being sold like tickets to sports games and people dress up as if they were going to some fun event. There are a lot of cool special effects at play here as well, demonstrated very well with this bullet in the opening scene. They do some fun stuff with the camera at some points, I liked the scene with Phoenix throwing this bullet into the air and it goes in slow motion as we see it get scanned. Oka did a great job here, props to them. I will say, the very desaturated look of the film does bore me at times. The games have a lot of great colorful art pieces, and having that just not be here just makes it feel kind of bland. And that's another big factor that determines how I feel about the movie. It's just kind of boring. Great cinematography aside, this movie definitely feels like it's taking itself too seriously at times. One of the best parts of the games is the fun dialogue from characters like Maya Fey, who they absolutely butchered here. In the games, Maya is an excitable, burger-loving teenage girl who bounces off of Phoenix extremely well and makes some sections of the game so much more fun. And in the movie, she's just so bland. She's never witty or anything, never jokes with Phoenix, and as much as I hate to say it, she really just doesn't add that much to the movie. Maya's not the only character they did this to either. The Judge is another favorite character of mine from the series. How could you not love this sometimes harsh yet well-meaning and goofy old man? And then in the movie, whenever he talks, he just kind of sounds like he wants to die. I guess Larry Butts is at least somewhat similar, whether that's for better or for worse. The movie only goes in for the joke every once in a while, which makes it feel a lot less Ace Attorney-y as well. That's not to say it's without its funny moments, because it isn't. But 
Again, outside of the weird hair, this doesn't really feel like Ace Attorney. The characters aren't the only thing that make this movie somewhat boring at times either. Like I said before, the desaturation contributes to it, but there's also frequent long pauses with either no dialogue or only whispering, and the music is just kind of forgettable. That is one of, if not my favorite part of Ace Attorney, so when I say I didn't even notice when the Pursuit theme started playing, that should spell it all out right there. They only adapt a handful of songs from the game, which is a shame honestly. Not to say all the ones they adapt in the movie are necessarily bad, but the soundtrack really left me wanting more. Making a courtroom drama movie exciting does sound like a chore, but when you consider this is a movie based off the series where they're constantly screaming objection, characters have insane breakdowns, and it's constantly throwing witty dialogue at you, I just end up feeling like this movie doesn't do enough to truly feel like Ace Attorney. Now Ace Attorney doesn't copy the original game one to one, and takes several creative liberties with its story, tying the fourth case much closer to the second than the original story. The new story is alright, though it definitely confused me at times as a seasoned Ace Attorney player. I still don't understand why Red White went full it's not a phase mom, but yeah, alright. I really like how we got to see more of how Yanni Yogi's life deteriorated following his trial what with all these murderer posters put up on his house and bad press surrounding him. We don't get to see much of that in the original, and I think it does a good job in humanizing him. I feel conflicted on the Ace Attorney movie. On one hand, it neglects to bring a lot of what makes the games great to the silver screen. On the other, it has some fun ideas, particularly with its dystopian setting and cinematography. I'm sorry, theme song by who? Do I hate or even dislike it? No, I think it's serviceable. Do I think it's the best video game movie out there? No. Then again, I guess it beats most of its competition, especially by 2012 standards. I would give it a solid 6 out of 10. Not bad, but definitely lacking in a lot of elements. I also want to touch on another set of Ace Attorney adaptations, the Japanese stage plays. I've watched a couple of these, and I have to say... They're pretty dang good. They don't take themselves super seriously, but aren't afraid to have a serious moment. The actors are great. The plays that are adapted from the games change things not to a huge degree, but enough to tell a somewhat unique story. Music both from the original and arrangements are used. The set design is really cool and clever. These are fun. I strongly recommend checking them out. They're in Japanese, but subbed versions do exist, so watch them and have fun, will ya? There's also the anime adaptation of Ace Attorney, which is fine. It's a straight adaptation of the first three games with a few added and removed elements, and honestly, it's just okay. The animation isn't great and looks significantly worse than the cutscenes in Dual Destinies and Spirit of Justice. Like, dude, what is this? It also cuts out some significant portions of the original games, mainly investigation sections. If for nothing else, the English dub gave us some pretty good bloopers. So tell us, Mr. Tigre, on the day of your murder, <laughs> You don't remember that, do you? Because you're dead. What? I don't know nothing about none of that or what the hell a trait being even is. You're fucking lying. Nah. -uh. Then explain this note, bitch. In conclusion, the Ace Attorney movie is just fine. Both as an Ace Attorney movie and as another horror movie to add to Mike's filmography. Not super scary, but you better believe I shit my pants when the Blue Badger's head came off and there was no one in the costume. He'll always find a way to work himself back into my nightmares. Thank you.